examine your, your rounds. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, so in the course of my examination, I would, I would ask you to take a, your gun off. I'll uh, be looking at your chest, all right? I'll be feeling around your chest to check for any pain, and I'll be tapping on your chest, and I'll be listening to your chest with this. If I cause you any pain or discomfort at any time, please let me know. All right, so before we start, do you have any pain anywhere? No. Okay. All right, so I would like to move back, take a step back, and observe the bed area. I'm looking for any oxygen tank. I'm looking for any sputum pods, all right? I don't see no sputum pods. I don't see any inhalers. I don't see no oxygen tank, all right? All right. Right, so that's fine. So now I would like to ask the patient to please take the gun off and also the gun has been taken off. So the gun has been taken off. So now I ask the patient to please just, um, you got to be sitting right here. Right, okay. So I'm just going to start by just looking. Okay. I'm starting with my inspection of the, on general inspection. On general inspection, the patient is comfortable at rest, doesn't appear to be in any obvious respiratory distress. Okay. I would like to proceed by looking at the hands. Can I just have your hands, please? Both hands, yes. So looking at the hands, I'm just checking for clothing. All right. So I don't see any clothing. All right. So just turn your hands this way. All right. I don't see any nicotine stains, and there's no obvious, uh, no obvious peripheral cyanosis. Okay. I'm just go quickly, just check for pulse. Okay, my time. Time for 15 seconds. I don't know what I thought. Right, so pulse is 66 beats per minute, regular, reading, normal volume. Alright? Okay, thank you. Oh, just, just let's see any track marks. Alright. So it's just coming to the face now. Right, just look up for me, please. Alright? No computer parallel. Look up for me. No square right terrors or no jumpies. Feel my for me, please. Alright? Turn to the roof. Alright, no jaundice, no central cyanosis. Alright, that's right. I'm just gonna place my hands on your neck, alright? So I'm just gonna check for the tra trachea centrality. Alright, I think that right here. So trachea is central, there's no deviation. Okay, now I'll just like you to put this down a bit for me. Okay, so make yourself comfortable. And I would like to get the drain. Alright. And I'll just cover the patient just this part. Alright, legs. Ideally, the gun is open already. I would like to remove the bed for 30 degrees, alright, because we're elevated. So please look to the left for me, alright. So now I'd just like to check for any, any descended leg pain and any jugular position. I don't see any elevated GBP, alright. Although I see a position right there, I'm going to first want you to see if it disappears. If it disappears, so that's a, it, it doesn't disappear, so that's a part of the position. But you can look back up. But I don't see any descended leg pains. Right. Moving on down to the chest. All right. Do you have anything in your chest? No. All right. Looking at the chest, take a deep breath in and out. Okay. Chest expansion appears to be symmetrical, but I'm just kind of just placing my hand just to check. So I'm placing my hand on your chest right now. All right. But still on inspection, I don't see any scar. I don't see any bruise. I don't see any atrophy of the respiratory muscles and pectoral muscles. I don't see any bony deformity. I don't see any obvious swelling. Okay. And the, the chest is moving in a regular fashion of respiration, there's no paradoxical movement. I'm placing my hand right here, keep it right in, and then keep right in with your mouth open, keep right in, and take it right in and breathe out with your mouth open. Okay, again, now, but right. chest expansion is equal symmetrically. Just one little question on the chest, you said that pain, right? So just press in, check the patient's eye. Right, there's no tenderness from palpation. Right, now I'm just going to check the fat type parameters. Go we'll place one on your chest and please just turn 99 for me. So, turn 99. Again. And again. Alright, tap that parameters is normal. And now I'm going to tap my chest and go with your percussion. Alright. Very both sides. Alright. Percussion notes. This resonance throughout, don't feel there's no dullness, right? I'm gonna move on now to do auscultation with my stethoscope. Alright, so first of all, in case the stethoscope is cold, I would like to warm the stethoscope. So just need a warm it. And then with the stethoscope, the ES pointing, keep running coming through, the ES pointing away from me. So 
I read my telescope, that's my phone, you know, I need to hear what I'm saying. Read your telescope properly. It's alright. And then just take a deep breath in and out with your mouth open. And out. Again. Scottation, air entry was equal bilaterally, bread sound was vesicolateral the long field, there was no abnormal bread sound, no crepitation, and that includes no crackles, no wings. Alright. I'm now gonna check for vocal resonance. Alright. So still wear my stethoscope again. I'm just gonna place this on you just say nice for me. Okay. Okay. So vocal resonance is normal. Alright. Now I'm just gonna check what you go for me, right? Just I want that long field. Just say E for me. E. Right, so you go for me, it's not you go for me. E sounds as E, this is an A. Now I'm gonna check what whisper if it's really E. Alright, just whisper something. Look at when just whisper something. Right. I can't hear what's being whispered, so there's no whispering if it's really in. Okay? Right. So now that I've done my anterior chest examination, what I'm gonna do right now.